So hello everyone, it's been a while. Um, today, I thought about updating my, my sat-nav. <laughs> Which caused the thing, and I think I've still got the box, and I have. <laughs> and here it is. So it's the Garmin Camper 770 LMTD. There it is there. Okay. Now, to be fair, I'm not sure if they even get that now, because it's bound to be updated. Because like I said, I bought that three and a half year ago. And I paid £334.38. <laughs> People still got the receiver up. Look at that. Now, and this is how simple this thing is, right? That's it. <laughs> That's the instructions that's in there. So, I've more than likely been the rest of it. So, what do you get? Right. Well, when it came flat packed, I got this, which is a suction mount, right, with the ball on the end of it. Now, to be fair, it's a very good suction mount, okay? The next thing that I got with it as well was uh, this bit here, and I'm not sure how to get it out. So, because I'm not sure how to get it out, I'm not going to take it out. I don't know why, actually, it was, uh, it was one of the, oh, there you go, got it uh, I don't know why, maybe it was a packaging thing, but this came separate, which goes into the back. So, here's the unit. The unit itself, as you can see, is very slim, but that's the bit I liked about it, was the screen. The screen is uh, it's seven, cent, 7 inches long, about 4 inches up and down. So, very good, very clear screen. So, what we'll do is, I'll pop this back in, because I don't want to lose this. Okay, so that's that back in. Um, so, before I put the, the wee gimp in for the windy, I'll just give you a wee tour of the back. So, that there is the, that's the power on off button. And that there is where you insert the, the cigarette lighter. Now, actually that's downstairs, so um, I didn't bother bringing that up. It's a, but that's your charging point, so basically that comes off of there to a power adapter on the end. And then you can plug it in. Okay, you've also got, up to 16 gig of an external storage card. Oh, so did I drop it? <laughs> and there you go. So that's, that's one of these. It's one of these micro SD things. So I've even stuck one of the things in it there just now. So so as I said, it was uh, quite good. Now, if I just push and hold this button on the back, and then that's it, it'll come in. So I will OK that. And... To be fair, that come on really quick. It's never normally as fast as that, so it's maybe it's because of I've been playing about with it. But at the top there, right, it's trying to acquire uh, the, the satellites there. So what I'll do is I'll go and get this thing set up, and uh, then we'll go to the other side of the screen, right, and I'll show you some of its functions. Right, so here we go. We're booted up. Um, as you can see, there's the, oh, there, yeah. there we go, it's touch screen. So the data I'm getting on the top there is the signal, because it's paired up to my phone. That's for your Bluetooth. That's the telephone sound, because it's letting us go up to, to, to sorry, you can use this as a, a Bluetooth facility. This is the bit I like, if I touch the camper van there, right, it says motorhome, and then you can go in there and alter your settings. Now, I'm not going to play about with this because I've got this specifically set up to mine. Alright, so I went in and I've changed it all. You can also choose it, as you can see, for a car as well. Um, and just hit select and that's that sorted out. Got the clock. Um, it's also given us the temperature outside. Uh, so the temperature is, funny enough, I've never seen that before. Ah, okay. That's wireless to the Garmin Connect. Now this is good because it gives you live, live data and live photos. So for instance, when when you're coming up to a junction and it'll tell you, say, take junction three, it also comes up with a photograph or an actual picture of the sign. So it's really, really, really good. And as you can see, the, the Wi-Fi strength there. That's the Wi-Fi strength between the internet and my box. So, because I'm, I'm actually using it off the house internet for uh, for doing all the updates. So, the stop bit, that's actually to do 
when you're finished with your uh, your traveling and where you've been, you just stop it and that stops the navigation. You've got your apps in here, right? Which there you go. There's your photo live. This is linked up. You put the a Garmin app, a smartphone connect. I think if I remember what it was called, something like that. That goes on there. Um, if, you, if you've even got a Garmin watch, you can link your watch up. Okay. Uh, but I, I love the stuff like. Um, you've got TripAdvisor on here now. So if you're going to some place, um, if they're on, if they've been uh, on TripAdvisor, you can get a lot of data of about a, a specific place you want to go and see. Um, Foursquare now, Foursquare is a great thing as well. Uh, oh, can you go? Ah, you can go into it, right? So you go into Foursquare, and you can actually do. You can. You can uh, find shops, you can find, like I use it for petrol stations basically, yeah. so um, there you go, sites, so if, if I hit sites, I'll probably call it with, so there you go, there's there's uh, some of the stuff that's, that's right near me, right, so it's uh, hotels, there's Tesco's as well, um, the Fair of Blair, that's a pub, man. so that's uh, unfortunately just some of the sites are there, uh, if, if I want to, I'll see what's trending, What's trending in my area? Nothing, because we're on lockdown. So there you go, no doubt available. And same wee food. Um, these are uh, restaurants that are actually quite near to me. So I'll pick, for instance, Cargill's restaurant. I want to go there, and then I just go and hit go. And there you go. Right, ready to navigate, so you can see. And there's the road there. So basically, that's me. I just come out my house. And I'm turning left because I'm following that route there. All right. So, actually, I'm telling the left. It's got me pointing going up the road. Ah, that's because this is back to front. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just? I'll probably actually. I'll tell you why. It's I'm, I'm actually. It's because of the way I'm facing. Hey, right, that's it. <laughs> that's that's because it's it's sitting. It's sitting the way I'm facing, so when I turn around, it actually goes the right way. So, but that's it. Um, settings, what was in the settings again? Oh, yeah, that's where you go and find all your, your updates and that. So, there you go. There's the first one there for the updates. Now, you have to actually be on Wi-Fi for this, okay? So, I'll come up. I, I, I'll not have any because, uh, as I said, I updated it last night. So, I got updates for the device and I got, I've got, Updates for life on this as well on my maps, so um, I, I don't have to do. Oh, sorry, I don't have to pay anything. So although you would think three hundred thirty pound is a a lot of money to hand out uh, when you're when you're dealing with getting free updates like that all the time, you know, you pay for them. Because to be fair, uh, if you were to buy something and buy an update for it, these things ain't cheap. I reckon they'll be between fifty and eighty quid a pop. And, uh, well, I know a certain few changes I've had that's been done even just in Scotland here that uh, I've got, I've had the updates for and it's all bang up to date as far as uh, running around's cost. So there you go. So as you can see the green ticks in there for the map. So my maps are now up to date and the software is up to date. So if I actually, can I go into the maps here? there? Nah, it's only that, it's only for the updates. Um, so if we go into my maps for here, so, right, uh, <laughs> there was a good in, show the, the vehicle to show on the map, look, so I've picked the motor home, but there's loads of other things, uh, you've got a can big thing of a camper van, you've got a pointer, you can be an, an articulated lorry driver, um, but unfortunately, uh, the motor home is more, uh, it's more of an American RV, so, but, eh, hey, I waffle and I like, so, um, I'm sure this tells me about the maps, there you go, my maps installed, so there's all the everything that you get, so there's, uh, I mean, there's your Europe four square maps, uh, Parkopedia, so that's for parking, parking places, not, uh, Europe Dem, that's a demonstration one, uh, Central Europe to all south and Central Europe to all north, so basically, um, all of Europe is on here, including the United Kingdom, even though we are no longer into that, that infrastructure. Uh, 
But all the other things you can play with, there's auto zoom, so um, what that is is it gives you your far away. So when you're on a map, um, so we've got like view the map there for instance, so that's that you're getting to see the map where I'm just now at my house. And uh, if you're if you're coming near a junction to turn left or turn right, the map actually zooms in close up to give you a better idea of when you're turning, and then when you turn, it zooms back out again and it gives you the big full screen. So, all in all, it's actually uh, it was quite a fantastic setup. So, but one of the things I really like about this, and one of the one of the, the cool features, because although your van's noisy, it's got a thing in it called voice command. So, uh, I'll try it. Voice command. Voice command. There you go. Uh, up. No, down. All the way to the top. Yes. Down. Ah. Uh, What am I wanting? I'm wanting, uh, what was it? Oh, we'll, we'll just go for find parking. Now, to be fair, I'm not far away from my internet. That, uh, that's how it's, it's struggling with us. Because I'd done it earlier just to check that I'd got it up and working. And uh, it actually sent us to the Tesco, uh, sorry, to the Shell Garage, just up the road from my house. So, up. We've got Find Category. Find Category. There you go. Petrol. One navigate add as next stop. There you go, and it's calculating now. So, there you are, ready to navigate. And there you go. Now, that's just around the corner for the house there. But as you can see, the purple line goes to the left, goes up the hill at the top. And then you'll see the wee flag here at Cooperangus, and that's where the petrol garage is. So, this week. So there you go. That was my my camper 770. As I said, I've had it uh, oh, three and a half years. Um, it's great when you actually go on to the. If you sit with it even in the van, you can play about and you can you can browse all the spots that's round about you. Uh, I know I know you can do all the kind of things on your smartphone, but the main thing is, is as you can see, when you find some place, it's just so simple to touch, and you get the directions there, you know. And to be fair, um, it's, it's the idea that you buy it, eh? so uh, you, you, it's a separate device, set fit in a sole purpose. Um, I I, I kind of really I was going to oh, actually I'll tell you what there you go there's a. That, take the white off, but that's the size of my, my telephone, okay? There you go. That's how big a screen I've got on this. Speaky. <laughs> so, I'm needing, uh, because I'm a bit blind, I'm needing someone with a bigger screen. So, pump that back in there again. And as you see, you just flick that in. You just push that suction cap on, and then you... Flick that up, and that's the bad boy stuck to the window. It's also got day mode and night mode, so as you can see, I've got it's on automatic because it's dark o'clock now. Um, it's, it's automatically jumped into night mode, but you know what? Uh, yeah, has it been worth the money? Mm, I would say yes. I've had a lot of fun out of it. Uh, would I buy another one? Maybe no. I think what I would maybe do is I would maybe, if I was because of an older van, I would maybe upgrade my stereo and buy something at uh, 
no, 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 a cheap Chinese knockoff. I know I do stuff on the cheap, but no, I wouldn't do that with my, my stereos. Uh, but I would, I would buy a right half decent thing, maybe about six or seven hundred pound, um, which is a good quality head deck unit, and the, the Bluetooth will be good for your phone. Um, the sat nav into it will be state of the art. Um, and plus as well now, you've actually got things like Android Auto um, and uh, Apple. Apple, I don't know, I don't know the Apple, so I don't know, there's an Apple in as well anyway, but the Android Auto is what I use. Um, and, the, and the Android Auto, the main thing you've got for that is, is you've got complete control of music. Um, it uses Google Maps, so you would never ever have the best sat enough. So anything that's got Android Auto into it, um, what was your auntie? And if you're using an Android phone, you can sit in the house, work something out, and send it to your van. So when you go in, that that is done for you. So I hope this has helped. I hope uh, you've enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button right now. Go and do it right now. And also, thanks for watching for so long. So please now go and hit the like button because you've spent this much time here listening to me babble on. Till the next one. We'll see you soon.